So we've done 2,500 searches, completed 2,500 searches now. And people ask me all the time, what's the hardest search you do, William? There used to be a universal answer, and it was children's pastor searches. In fact, I had sworn up and down, I'm not going to do those anymore. I don't want it. I was at a conference, and I went out on a run that morning, and Andy Stanley just given a talk the night before about eliminating things and saying no to some opportunities so you can be better than another. And I, I prayed like you shouldn't pray. I said, Lord, <laughs> you're going to have to give me a sign today, because unless you give me a sign, I'm going to not do children's pastor searches ever again. I, I had more hair before I did children's pastor searches. And, and then that day, I, praying like I shouldn't, I was sitting in the green room of this conference and, and Rick Warren says to me, William, will you come sit with me while my wife gives a talk? Well, yeah, sure, I happen to be free, Rick, so we go sit down. And uh, Rick says, you'll love this. Well, I didn't know Kay, and it was a long time ago, and I thought it was going to be a nice, sweet, encouraging message telling people how much they matter and yay, go pastors. Not at all. Uh, Kay had been on her uh, campaign to raise awareness around adopting orphans from underdeveloped countries. And so she went into this really fiery talk like, we have the only God who welcomes children. We have the only God who says, bring children to me. If you aren't doing something to welcome children into the kingdom of God, you aren't a Christian. And she was looking right at me, and I'm like, okay, I really shouldn't pray that way, Lord. And, and so we kept doing children's pastor searches. And they're hard. But harder now is the student pastor search. Why that? Maybe, maybe you know a church that has lost a student pastor. Maybe you're there, and you can't find one. You don't know why. What are the reasons? Are you not attractive anymore? Is it a, no, 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 no. There are a couple of really key reasons why it's harder than ever. Reason number one, student ministry used to be the minor league ball club for people who were going to become senior pastors. Even I was a student pastor, arguably the worst one on the planet, but I was a student pastor and I got my speaking reps in and then went on to become a senior pastor. That was the way things went. Well, nowadays you don't have to do that. Nowadays you could go be a campus pastor as your first job. Nowadays, you can go plant a church with all the great resources people like ARC and NAM and all these church planting machines have put out. The options are wider for younger people. It doesn't have to be student ministry. So the, the candidate pool has shrunk and the other opportunities has grown. That's one reason. Now, another reason student ministry is so hard to find people for right now is it's hard to do student ministry after a pandemic. As I travel across the country and world visiting churches, people say, what are you seeing as the new normal? And, and who got damaged in the pandemic? Well, among churches, I think student ministry got the most damaged. And you say, why is that, William? Well, when you shut people down and say, you can't come to church, that, that, that works for most people. But students will not not get together. And during the pandemic, when churches were forced to say, we can't do student ministry, well, students still got together, just not as part of the youth group. So now that the pandemic's over, students have found new ways to connect to one another without having to come to the building. And it's going to take a while before that rebuilds. Another reason that it's such a hard time to find student pastors is the stress that was put on student pastors during the pandemic. You know, senior pastors probably had it the worst, but right underneath that, student pastors. Parents are mad. Mad if you did mask. Mad if you didn't mask. Mad if you did gather. Mad if you didn't gather. Then you get into vaccinations, and student pastors caught all the stuff that rolls downhill. So you've got people that are kind of burned out on doing student ministry. You've got other opportunities people can go into, and you've got a badly damaged student ministry nationally. It's making for a harder time than ever. And I'm not going to pray like I prayed back in that conference 13 years ago. I know Jesus has called us to help every part of His church, and that's why we still do a whole lot of children's pastor searches. We still do a whole lot of student pastor searches. It's hard out there, but we can help you. We've been doing it a long time, and we'd love to walk alongside you as you walk down the road of finding that next student pastor.